And I always talk about black people. See, that's what's wrong with black people to this day. We hate each other for no reason. Wow, Dan Raphael exposed Ryan Garcia for lying to the people, pretending like he don't know how voter testing work. Plain ignorant. Let's listen to what Dan Raphael have to say. But first, shout out to Tycle Sports Network for this interview. Let's check it out, guys. And I'm going to speak about it at the end of the interview. And, you know, you might want to check this out, that Ryan had found this test. I did my due diligence. And again, I've been doing drug testing stories for most of my career. Uh, not my first rodeo. I've done countless stories of uh, failed Pavada tests. And, uh, it, you know, according to the sources I spoke to who have direct knowledge of the paperwork or knowledge of the, what, what was uh, posted in those letters, that Ryan Garcia, in fact, in urine tests that were given on April 19th, which is the, the day before he fought against Devin Haney, and then again on April 20th, which, in my experience, Vada is not going to test you before the fight on the day of the fight, so most likely... That is a post-fight drug test after the fight in the dressing room. They don't hand you a, a urine, you know, specimen cup, and you pee in it, and they look at it and say, you know, you're positive or you're negative. It takes time for it to go through the WADA lab to be tested, and they're not like the only testing that they're doing. So for it to have come back, if the fight was on April 20th and the samples were collected on the 19th and the 20th, and now all of a sudden it's here we are, you know, 10 days later. That's actually on the fast end of getting the results back because sometimes it could take two weeks, it could take three weeks. It just depends on how busy they are and what other events are doing. So for them to get the results of these tests back in this short of time, it's not. There's literally nothing fishy about it. It's it's as fast as you see it. Okay, so Dan Raphael said for Ryan Garcia them to get back that test ten days later, it's actually on the fast track. It normally take two to three weeks. So Ryan Garcia. He well aware and know how VADA testing work. So when Ryan Garcia posting his negative result, that VADA test him on when? February the 26th, around there. And he get back the result. March 14. You saw how long he take to get back the result? Ryan Garcia, stop telling lies to these ignorant people on the internet. These VADA testing is not like when you're going for a job interview and they request you to do a drug test and you're pissing a cup and you know the result at the same time. These things have to send off to independent lab to run the independent testing for several other... This is not... They're, just, they're not just testing for one simple, specific Jugs, you know, they're testing for multiple jugs. I know Vada testing body is the most strict one. They test it for every and everything. So these take time. People, when you go to the doctor to take your annual checkup and you draw a lot of blood out of your body, it's not your doctor office who do the testing, you know. They send it off to a lab. You notice your doctor will take three, four days to call you back to give to tell you the result. So just imagine they're testing for multiple things. You think that that's gonna take one day? The the the, the fastest time Dan Raphael said ten days is is actually on the fast track. It normally take two to three weeks. So Ryan Garcia well aware. Oh, Vader testing work. And he came out acting innocent, telling lies to the people. He's just digging a hole deeper and deeper for himself. So all those black monkeys on the internet that's, that's supporting Ryan Garcia... And talking all kind of conspiracy things that about Victor Conti and set up and they trying to set up Brian Garcia. Just remember, you black fool monkey, you earth man, as a bill call them. Devon Haney is a black man in America. When last you hear a black man, when last you hear the system supporting the black man over another race of people. You fucking idiot. You black monkeys on the internet. Man, you guys make me disgusting. Supporting Ryan Garcia.
You are so weak. You are so jealous of a successful black man. But I'm glad still. Devanini, make sure you make this a wake-up call. Don't pay those black eating monkey no mind on the internet. You fight for the people then that love you. Because these people open and praying for your downfall. Now they expose themselves. Devanini said, Allah know what's best. So Allah put Devanini in this position to expose those weak ass black monkeys on the internet. Those self hating black monkeys never have a real man in their life. Grow with their mother. They don't know the structure. They don't, they never grow up in a, in a also structure with a strong black man. So they're scared of Bill Any. They're scared to death of Bill Any. What Bill Any done for Devon Any. This weak ass black American. And I'm not talking about all. If the cap don't fit you, don't worry about what I'm saying. You know what I'm talking about. Those fatherless, weak ass, jealous black men exposing themselves. Not because you have a hundred thousand subscribers. Not because you're getting thousands of views. You're still a black monkey. That's who you are. Exposing yourself every and every day. The real people, them don't respect you. <laughs> it's crazy. I never see this in my life. You go against your own to support someone else. Your jealousy, your hatred you have inside. Don't talk about fairness. Don't talk about you're just talking boxing. We can see right through you. We can see the joy on your face when you think they've been in the last Ryan Garcia. We can see that happiness. We can see the celebration. But all of that is coming to a end. And guess what? You are going down with Ryan Garcia shimping, shig, sinking ship. And I'm going to be here to help Send it down the bottom of the sea much faster than how it's going down. You piece of shit. Guys, thank you for watching.